A year ago, Sue Manhood from Abingdon was told she had breast cancer. Her reaction to that devastating news was little short of inspirational. She promised she'd not only beat the illness, but she'd complete one of the toughest tests in sport. Jeremy Stern has been following this story and is with Sue now. Jeremy. Jerome, I'm at Evolve Gym in Bista and I'm here to meet a very special gym instructor. This is Sue Manhood. Good evening, Sue. Evening, Jeremy. And you'll be able to tell from the medal here that Sue completed the London Marathon. How are you feeling today, Sue? I'm feeling fantastic, thank you. The legs are working well. I was in here training at nine o'clock this morning. Amazing. Um, take me back to yesterday morning. You're at the start line. What's the feeling like? I was nervous, it was emotional, it brought back all the memories of the last year um, when my cancer journey started a year ago. Tell me a little bit about that, I mean how the last year for you has, has been quite a journey. It has been a journey, um, I was diagnosed with cancer a year ago, um, I then went through chemotherapy, a mastectomy, radiotherapy which took eight months, so it gave me two months to train for a marathon. And what was it like when you were going round? Because, I mean, it is such a big challenge, 26 miles um, for anyone, but particularly someone who's recovering um, from an illness like that. It, it was fantastic. I had great fun. All the little children were out and you're doing high fives, um, giving you jelly babies. Um, yeah, it, the atmosphere is superb. Um, what about that moment when it all comes together, when you cross that finishing line? Just, just what was the feeling like? Uh, it was so emotional. I, yeah, I cried, I put my arms up in the air and cheered. Um, it brought all the emotions back of the last year and everything I'd gone through. And what was your time? 5.45. And will you be going again next year? Um, I wasn't going to, but one of my friends got so excited at seeing me cross the finish line that she's entered the ballot. So I've said, she gets a place, I'm running with her. Well, congratulations to everyone who ran the marathon. You can all put your feet up, apart from Sue, who's about to do another gym class. Jerome. Thank you, Jeremy.